I'm in Los Angeles at Studio DNA for the Orbe Hair Care event, and I'm so excited because Orbe is here. Oh my gosh, his work's inspired me for over 20 years, from the covers and pages of magazines to fashion shows. I'm blown away by him. He's innovative, he's fearless, and he's kind of a big deal. I, uh, I wanted to know, uh, this is something I just am not clear on. What inspired you to choose hair? Was there a moment? Um, there was a moment. I was um, in New York to, be, uh, to become an actor, and um, first I worked at Burn Down, and I went to work at his shop, a uh, haircutting joint, um, just at the reception, and I was like, wow, they make good money. So I, I thought, well, it's going to be really easy, and, and I, later I found that it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the type of stuff that you're doing is hard. Yeah, oh, no, well, now, now it's gotten easier. That's a long time ago. <laughs> okay, the cover of September issue of Vogue magazine can't be that easy. I have to admit, I'd be, I'd be nervous. And I love it. You did Halle Berry for the cover. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's amazing. It's the first time I've absolutely loved, loved her hair. Oh, thank you. And thank you. It's, it's amazing. Thank you. It's, it's, it's a simple concept. I think that, you know, when doing celebrities like that, you just have to come up, you know, be strong and then um, just come up with an easy concept. What was your first set? What, what got you doing editorial work? It, um, just happened to be in New York. I was working for Garen at the, at the plaza in 1978, and they needed a hairdresser. They threw me in. I was kind of a whatever, and I, I managed to pull it off. It's just that kind of thing. I think that you just have to be ready, and if the opportunity comes, and it will, opportunities come all the time, just be ready for it. So it was 1990, right. and uh, <laughs> I was 14 years old. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was obsessed with Linda Evangelista. Um, Vogue magazine, although I thought the clothes were really expensive, but still do. And uh, Top Model magazine, which was a, kind of like a V magazine, a large format, and I fell in love with the supermodels. And doing more research, I think you're to blame for the reason I wanted to be a model for several years oh before doing God. hair. Because the glamour that you did on the, those, those women during that time, Linda Evangelista specifically, like, wow. They were amazing. Those girls were like the movie stars of like they are now, you know. At that time, the movie stars weren't that, you know, they were just movie stars. At that time, those girls were like, you'd walk down the street with Linda or Christy or Naomi, it was like walking the street, down the street with like Marilyn Monroe. It was an amazing time. Probably still is a bit again, I think, for them. Well, it's coming back. I think that, yeah, this girls are, they're different now. They became so big that they started out shining the designers, and that's why they were put to, to the side a little bit. <laughs> I also love that you like to get just gritty and dirty and ugly. And um, I loved that I was in, recently in Vegas for your backstage presentation and I was just mouth on the floor the entire time. I loved every bit about it. But I like to take notes while I watch a presentation and I wrote this, I wanted to share this post-it note with you. It's, um, spontaneity is so important. That was a quote that you said at, on April 25th at 1.37 p.m. And tell me a little bit more about that. She's so amazing. I mean, there's no one that, she's such a great guest and it was an honor to have her in. She has just won her fantastic show and um, she made my show, she was like the special guest in the audience. <laughs> and it's great that you, that you took that. Spontaneity is so important. It's, it's like, you have to, um, yeah, just come up with something and not have things planned so much. And sometimes those accidents that happen, like especially when you do editorial, it's just a captured moment. You know, it could be like just, that or you know like that for a second and then it's gone. It's just a moment that you need. Um, could you tell me a little bit about what you did for the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art? Yeah that was a, a, the, the, the Met was an amazing experience. It was the year that um, all the mannequins were of Christy Turlington and I was her main hairdresser and so they they allowed me to uh, go into the Met and they would um, to do all the hair out of paper, Rafia. So it was a different way of doing hair for me. It was also, it was like sculpture. And so what, what was genius about it is I got to reference all the, all the trends. Like they would send me a book from 1890 or 1780 and all the looks that were popular then and all the, the, the shapes and the um, proportions. And then I could adapt them. I could take from, from anywhere on my page and adapt it to Christie. So it was very creative for me. But it was a great lesson, and so I learned how to, you know, really work here with my hands. But I also learned proportion and fashion. It was really amazing. If you ever get that opportunity, go for it. What's your favorite fast food? Favorite fast food? I love a hamburger. Yes. <laughs> I love it. How do you order it? I order it um, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, 
on your own, so it works. Oh, right on. I'm, all, I'm there for you. Anytime I'm a cheeseburger playing. Are you? Okay. Absolutely. Uh, what is the oddest thing I would find in your kit of, of what I understand could be 10 to 20 bags at any given time? Uh, the, the oddest thing would probably, oh, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, mm, uh, that's a crazy question. Probably the weirdest, ugliest wig you could imagine. Because you never know when you need to pull something, when things are getting too beautiful and you just need to <laughs> give it some an edge. Okay. So you'll find some of the ugliest things in my bag you'll ever see. Wow, you never <laughs> know that. That's amazing. Okay, so you had pomades out back, you know, several years ago, a little dabble into some products and such. Very cool. And now all of a sudden there's this line that's out, this Orbe hair care. It's sophisticated. It's got that swagger that you've got. It's Thank incredible. You. I'm Thank a huge you. fan of the Super Shine. Thank you. And I can't get enough of it. I would like to know what inspired you then to go that route and put out a product line. Well, I mean, I, I feel that I've had such an amazing career. It's been like, and you know, I'm fortunate. I'm really humble about it. I'm not like, I don't take it for granted. I'm super lucky and fortunate. But um, I wanted to um, have this be like, you know, the one thing that I haven't done is really, really thought about the hair and what I wanted it to do. In the 90s, the pomades were fun and exciting and super greasy and like not, you know, not environmentally friendly. And so, I, you know, I've grown up, I'm older and I'm, I love, still have the passion. So I felt that I wanted to put it into a line and really to, to I don't know to express myself through a line. I think that you'll do that one day too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm after tools right now. I'm, I'm oh, obsessed tools with tools. Are good. Yes. Um, I just painted some curling irons oh, my okay. color. Oh, yeah. oh, cool. It's transport yellow <laughs> apparently on a spray paint can. You're going to be seeing this lady for a long time, so get used to it. You're going to be seeing this lady for a long time. <laughs> I hope so. I, hope I, so. I asked someone for an application. We'll be getting my resume soon. If his assistant's assistant's assistant needs a bobby pin holder, I will be readily available <laughs> anywhere in the country. Well, um, one one last thing that you would give advice to cosmetology school students who are not sure if it's right for them, or they're just in that middle of school for an out hours. Yeah, I was terrible in school. It was really hard to get through it. It was like I wasn't that great. I, um, I got out, finally made it. I almost failed the, the test. It was all wet. It was horrible. <laughs> Uh, then I got into it. Give it a chance. It's, it's a way of expressing yourself. It, it all falls together. Assist someone great. Just be passionate about it. And you'll be amazing. It's a wonderful trade that for you always have a job. And your always hair grows and no matter what, this is the most important part of a person at the end. You want to look at frames to face. We can change lives and it's a great profession. You know that. <laughs> I love that. And one thing that you always say that I love is that to do normal you have to know abnormal. Yes, certainly. You need to know it all. So it's it's good to to venture out and let your mind go and dream and you can do you can make this you can make this career anything you want it to be. If you want to be a session hairdresser, if you want to own a salon, if you want a product company, you know, if you want to win a TV show contest, <laughs> you can do it. And it just takes determination and guts. I mean this one's got guts and it takes guts and just you know discipline and confidence and that's what I love about you. And that's what I love about you. And I'm going to be in Miami uh, tomorrow, and I'm going to go by your salon and say hello to everyone there. And you're not going to be there. <laughs> I'm not going to be there. So I'm always, it's, it's crazy. I would love to show you around Miami. You're going to have a great time. My guys are all, I'll call them and they'll be ready for you. Ask for Steven. Wait. He'll show you anything. My salon is yours, whatever you need. I'm coming, okay. Steven. Thank you so much, Rupe. I appreciate it. Oh, Thanks for your Thank time. you, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>